If you need to buy or sell an account or even get your badges guided, make sure you hit up Go Plugged on Instagram. Their link will be down in the description. All right, so similar to the NBA 2K League, there's something called WR, which is an amateur pro-am league where everybody not in the 2K League usually plays. And they have this thing on the side called WR Select, where it's a draft league, where you sign up and then you get drafted to a team where they have general matters and all that, and then you compete. So I wanted to do this into a video on it. So I signed up and you can see the player application right here. I had to put my console, my Twitter handle, my Twitch username. Then after that was availability. Obviously, I'm available all the time, basically. Then my position, obviously gonna be playing as a PG with my offensive threat or my day one play shot. Then it asks, what NBA players would you compare yourself to and why? I said, if Derek Rose and Steph Curry had a child. And then just ask for my competitive experience. And then tell us about yourself. Dude, I got nothing to say. I just played 2K, man. So before the draft, they ended up holding this combine where you would go into the chat, form up with teams of five, then go play other teams of five. Everyone just trying to get their draft stock up. And in this combine, I think I averaged about like 22 points per game. I played seven games. To be drafted, you had to play a minimum of three. So in my seven, I think I won five and then like lost two. Good job. Good job. Sure. I'm wide open. Sure. Mm. Move. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Sure. So when draft day came around, I was picked at 12th overall in the first round to the Las Vegas Snake Eyes, averaging 22, like I said, in the combine. And look at the chat, man. They were all hating on me, saying I was baited and stuff, which is kind of funny because I beat a lot of these guys in the combine and I was like messing them up. So the regular season came around and this was one of our first games against the Roswell Travelers. I splashed the end, their point guard, I think it was actually drafted before me around like fourth overall. And then their lockdown defender on their team, Young Fresh, is like actually someone I played a lot of my combine games with. He's just like a real one in the pro community, someone I like playing with also. So I knew this was going to be a good game for sure. But starting off, it just was like super rough because like on these teams, I don't, I have never played with any of my teammates before. I don't know any of them really. So it always starts out rough for us because like, rotate, rotate, rotate. I did. We don't play any warm up games, we just get into it, play our season play games. Lock. Like, Fresh is a play I don't lock. know how any uh, of them play, they don't know how I play. So, back. going into this, we really didn't know what to do or what to expect. We had somewhat of a game plan, but Mumble. Mumble. see, we were like all over the place, Corner. nothing was really working out. You gotta take this, freeze. Look, corner's all over the place. Back, back, back. Yeah. not here. Somebody's not here. Nothing you can do there. Yeah. Shot. Shot. I'm ready to drop. Stay on cap. So after having a super rough first quarter, we ended up turning it around at the start of the second. You see me get a nice little post right there after I got a mid range. And then I started getting my teammates going. I'm on it, I'm on it. And the defense started clicking. No way. That should not have been a foul. That should have been a block. That was great defense. But overall, we were just moving better. You see the ball movement looking nice and clean right there. No, no, no. Don't fight there. Don't fight. Don't fight. Splash. He is good at dribbling. He's gonna get yeah, moving. So uh, he was doing that, and I was trying to like get us to score in different ways. He also is really good at yeah. rim running and stuff like that. Let's trying go. to get defense I'm outside on the paint. Cap trying to drop. Our defenders started seeing what they were doing. They kind of kept the same thing. So second quarter was way better than the first for sure. So we had a little bit of more momentum going into the second half, and we really o were opening things up. Close up. Yeah, the show. Nice. Sure. Zop is an absolute dog the center of my team. I realize that he's great on defense, offense, shooting, all that. That's awesome. Oh, man. Fuck your shit, man. Nice. Off ball. It's off, it's off. That's me, I dropped off. That's me, I dropped off. I got you. Dude. No, he's. Get out of here. So, like, near the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth. I knew that we really had to win this quarter because we were like on the verge of getting momentum. So we were really just like trying to fight to like win the quarter so that we could set ourselves up for a better spot in the fourth. So we just kept getting buckets back to back to back to back to back. To back. And we were trying to get some stops, but it was a little bit hard. But you see, we didn't win this quarter and we stopped the back door at the very end. So going into the fourth, you know, we're in a better spot. I think we're down 10 or even like seven. But we're bringing it back now. We're in like down five. It was a lot of things, like yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff we couldn't control on how they were scoring, but... Over-hoping. Excuse me, man. I'm getting open. Oh, um, and he's hitting whites. 
What's up with that, 2K? Like, I, just, there's just stuff we can't control, really. Just like, all right, bro. What am I watching, though? But the, yo, this playmaking badge on my BP, like, dude, I'm dribbling way too fast. I can't even control it, bro. It's like, literally, I'm so happy it's this playmaking badge. I just dribble like an oh. absolute play shot. He's blocked, he's blocked, he's blocked. On offense. Got one. That is gold playmaking badges. Let's yeah. go. Look at my shooting guard shooting from freaking Africa to like hit a clutch shot uh -huh. and then I'm we're sure. we're stopping this dude. It's I'm not here doing layups over guys. What is their center doing? Like what was that? Oh, Minute thirty left. We're we barely down to anything. That was a bad drop actually though. There was a lot of stuff that we like really could have changed. It, like Oh that's tough. He can shoot from Africa but he can't make that. And then I just oh, yeah, chuck up a post phase. <laughs> I got and, it. That didn't give me a jump. Yeah, that well. basically right. sealed the deer right there. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I hit that three, just trying to like keep us in it somehow. And I called this play right here. Oh my god, look at that play though. Got it. Let's go. Ooh, close right. But they did hit two free throws, so like it really didn't matter. I just had to close that, save my boost. Yo, you guys played hella game, bro. Way to fight. Shout out to our GM, Joe Tori. He was in the party with us, supporting us. But yeah, season's not over. I'll keep you guys updated, but we're just going to keep going, keep fighting. That team was actually really good. They were like 6-1 on the season. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like in this video. Please subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I drop like 10 out of 10 2K videos, bro. I drop straight bangers, no lie. But yeah, go follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a $100 giveaway soon. So make sure you go do that at Young Precise. Follow me on Twitter for updates at A Precise with two E's. And then Twitch, I'm always streaming Pro Am. And yeah, that's it. It's been Young Precise, and I'm out. Peace.